Welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs for General Disturbance. This is an M53 M55 hidden in the bush. It's located on the south spawn of Prokhorovka Encounter, and this one is under the command of Photo Bomber. Well, last time we saw him, he was on the same map, but he was in the AMBT, and this time he's decided to play the RT. Game on! Well, the tier 9 American SBG with a turret, based on the M47 Patton tank, it's got a different turret to the Patton tank, of course. This one's got an 18 howitzer, and it's got an arc of 30 degrees either side of the center line, which makes it a very versatile RT, and very capable of taking out, well, most enemy tanks, because it's got 900 alpha, 52 millimeters of pen, but it's got a 40 second, 40.27 second reload time. You can see Photobomber's got 31.43. Now he's headed over to the west side of the map because it's an encounter game, um, mainly because the enemy is probably gonna try and fight for the cap as well. And he wants to stop the enemy from coming down the west side of the map. And he's already found a target that he can shoot at. Yep. There's an object 263. There he is. He's gone into the bowl. Bad decision. Takes a hit straight away, but it was a splash for only 385. He's changing position to avoid counter battery. Okay, he's not going to expose himself too much to the enemy. There might be some enemy coming down the tree line. That's why we've got a Jaegeru there. That helps. Okay, he's gone back to where the object 263 was last seen so the object 263 is a tier 9 soviet tank destroyer based similar in a way to the object 261 it's, uh, instead of a howitzer though it's got a main gun okay super conk rounds out landed right alongside him for 398 almost as good as a direct hit and in fact, now he's picked up a huge amount of stun assist because the Jaegeru just fired at the Superconk and got 1,031 hit points of damage from one shot. And oh, and there was another hit just there. The BZ-75 just plunged around into the enemy. And now we've got that 263 again. We're almost loaded. Better bomb's going to have a go again. Oh, tree went down. Hello. Rounds out. Yep, that one definitely touched the side of the 263. And he's picked up some more hit points. Changes his position just slightly. I would have put a bit of a sideways movement in it just to throw the enemy off if they do try to fire down the same line of fire. Because sometimes they may accidentally get it wrong and accidentally hit you. <laughs> so, yes, he's done that now. He's actually put a bit of sideways movement into it. Okay, going back to the aim. And there's that 263 again. Dialing in, he's ready to go, just needs to line it up. Oh, that was unfortunate. The target went down before he could shoot, but at least he kept the shell and he fires at the Centurion. And, oh, that was worthwhile. He got 283 hit points from that one. So saved himself from losing that 283 hit points by not being so quick on the trigger. I probably would have lost the shell, but the photobomber managed to keep it and made good use of it. Now, there's a Viz-55 down there in the bowl. It's not a very good place to go, actually, because it makes you static. If you stay in the same spot in the bowl, you're going to get hit by Arty. And that's a direct hit. Yeah, the, the best place for the bowl is for light tanks, not for the heavies, not for the mediums. I've seen mediums go in there, but they don't stay in the bowl for long, mainly because they don't want to get hit. Light tanks can get in and get out quick, but it is a dangerous place to go, the bowl. If you're a heavy or a tank destroyer, he's almost loaded. Here we go. Rounds out straight away. Direct hit right in his front on his upper plate. You can see the mark it left as it impacted. into the reload again. Now, as you've probably heard in some of my other replays, um, some of the other videos, I really like it if a player who's playing an RT quickly looks for his next target after he's fired his first one. If it's not the same target, obviously you need to find a new one 
and assign the aim to that. Rouse out. Another direct hit, this time on the Super Conk for 174. The reason is you need to be busy to fire as many shells out as you can because the more of the enemy you touch, the more likely you're going to get a Confederate. And of course, it helps all your teammates because if the enemy tanks are stunned, then they're going to be um, uh, vulnerable to the fire from your own teammates. So it really does help to fire the shells around as many enemy tanks as you can. In fact, there are enemy tanks up on the hill at the moment, but you can see that Photobomber wants this super conk, and he's lining up another enough shot. Rounds out. It landed in front for 399. That's just as good. Okay, he's changed position again. Now, up on top of the hill, there's a whole bunch of enemy tanks all grouping together. And when you see tanks grouping together, that's a, a spectacular target to go for because you hit more than one tank with each shot. I'm not sure he's noticed that yet, but I'm sure he will shortly because it's the only tanks that are actually visible up on top of the hill. Look on top of the hill on the minimap. No, he's not looking. He should... You've got to scan that uh, minimap as often as you can just to make sure where everything is. Up on top of the hill it would only take a couple of seconds to realign. And somebody from the enemy team has gone into the cap. I'm not sure if he's noticed the hill yet, but I think he's looking towards the cap area. Ah, he's noticed the hill at last. Good. There's an STB-1 up there he can hit. And I think there's another tank up there as well. So he's probably not the only one. If he hits the STB, he will probably damage the others as well. Oh, he got a bit of rescue bloom there. That's unfortunate. But now he's got a 277 to fire at as well. He's going for the STB because he's got light armor. And that's a direct hit. 406 hit points. That was a very worthwhile shot. Okay, knock to tree over. And the normal response to that is quickly change your position just in case the enemy RT was looking. And he's done that. Good. Okay, so there's a gorilla, I think, is in the. A gorilla 15, maybe in the cap area. And an AMX M454 is nearby. There's the gorilla 15. He's just inside the cap. Okay, we can put around down range. Rounds out. Well, that reset him. A nice reset there, and the Griller, I think, pulled out of the cap shortly afterwards anyway. But he actually managed to pick up 268 hit points of damage from the Griller, and he got a stun assist shot of 473. He's already up to 3k of actual damage, 2k of stun assist, and that's certainly going to make his end of battle score a nice one. The enemy RT is in sight. The batch at 155.55. He's lost sight of him, but he's going to fire blind anyway, just in case. Not sure if that was near it, but it may have been. Just change position slightly. You don't need to do a huge amount, but try not to make it, um, try to make some sideways movement in it. Okay, it looks like he's going to go for the AMX M454 or the Super Conk again. There's that Super Conk. Badly damaged. Now line up ahead of it. So it work out where it's going. Rounds out. Looks good. Direct hit. Right on the side of the turret. 283 hit points this time. Oh, and more stun assist because the Super Conk. Just got taken out by our IS-7, so that was a very worthwhile shot. Okay, over on the other side of the battlefield, we've got an STB-1, the same one that was up on the hill, but he's now trying to defend against our guys, and unfortunately, we just lost our Progetto-65, and unfortunately, that round hit the ridge line because the STB-1 dived down into the river the moment he knew that an arty round was on the way in. Yes, this warning system actually does allow the enemy tanks to get away from being hit. Kind of unfair, really. 
AMXM451. Almost loaded. We've lost sight of him, but he might be behind that Sukhot wreck. Photobomb has decided not to shoot. He's marked the ground where he last saw him. Or at least somebody has. And the AMXM4 did move. But there he is. Rounds out. Direct hit. 487. He's racking up the damage. He's approaching 4K actual damage in this game alone. And I think he's almost assured that he's going to get an ace tanker out of this already. Look at the combined damage. If you think of it in that way, it's uh, over 6,000 damage in total combined. There's the M451. Maybe you hit it in the side of the turret. Lost sight of it again, but I think we'll reacquire it. There he is, and we're loaded. Lined up, rounds out. Direct hit, right on the front. Didn't pen. It just knocked his tracks off and hit his lower plate, but he still lost 318 hit points from that shot alone. Unfortunately, we didn't get the stun assist from that one because he didn't actually show any stun. I think that was the BZ-75 just hitting him. And the AMX M451 is down, which means now there's only three tanks left on the enemy team. One's over on the east side of the map, two on the west side. Centurion 7-1 in the back chat, 155-55. Over on the far side, we've got that STB-1 again, the one he hit in the side earlier in the game. And I think he's trying to get into a position where he can actually defend against our guy who's coming down the hill. I'm not sure what, what it is, actually. It's an object, according to this list. An object 140. Oh, and there goes the Centurion. So that means now we've only got an arty on this side of the map. And, well, that arty just fired at the Striv 1030. And we're having a look for him. He's just fired. So there he is. And he's only got two hit points. So I think he did actually hit him earlier in the game with that blind shot. Because he only had two hit points left at the end. Okay, there's the STB-1. Last enemy tank. He's being closed in on by an IS-7 and an Object 140. He hasn't got long before he's been sent back to the garage. The IS-7 dives in after him. And the Object 140 is coming up behind him. Yes, it's the Spit Roast. And he's out the game. That was a very good game by Photobomber in the M53, M55. He got an ace tanker out of it, as well as a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he managed to get 12. And he got a gauze medal for doing more damage, exceeding eight times the hit points of his own vehicle, as well as a confederate medal as well for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. He did exactly what I said you should do, which was to hit as many enemy tanks as you can. And that way you guarantee you get a medal out of it, which is rather nice actually getting a confederate because it shows you spread the RT love around the battlefield. You made sure that everyone was, uh, was touched and that uh, your team felt that they were being helped. He got a win eight of that one of 3,830, which is super unicum standard. Let's have a look at team score and see where he was. The highest damage came from the BZ-75. He got 5,455 hit points of damage. Second highest damage went to Photobomber with 4,431. And the third highest damage in the game actually went to the IS-7 on his team with 3,359. When it came to kills, it was the BZ-75 that did best with four kills. Three kills went to the IS-7 and... Three kills also went to the Viz 55 on his own team. Photobomb didn't get any kills, but of course that helped him to get the Confederate medal, so he won't uh, worry about that. And when it came to base XP, he's got that one. He's got the highest on that one. 1,145 went to Photobomber, basically off his combined damage. 1,052 went to the IS-7, and 1,043 went to the BZ-75, and they were the only three players who managed to get over 1,000 in that game. Photobomber fired 16 rounds, so he still had four rounds spare at the end of the game. 
eight direct hits on the enemy, no penetrations, but 15 splash. So sometimes he was hitting more than one tank with the same shot. 4,431 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. He damaged eight of the enemy, killed zero. And that's a good ratio for a Confederate, eight and zero. Of 2,486 hit points of stun assist or 13 stuns. So his combined damage was actually 6,800 in total. Yeah, that's a very good game. Uh, he also got 38 defense points when he reset the cap on the gorilla. 66,033 credits from the game on a premium account, 95,000 for completing a mission, 161,033 credits altogether. And after ammunition, resupply, and consumables took away 119,793 credits profit. He got 30 bonds in that game for an achievement. 1,717 XP times two for the first victory. The same again from personal reserves and 5,152 experience points altogether. So that's much more like it. An ace tanker, gauze, and a confederate. Nice bunch of medals. That's a good game. I'd be happy with that one anytime. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.